feel like there's a game that we should pay homage to that had matchmaking that was still fun and the only problems was with the developer side which is anthem i know that's Ooh, another trigger yeah, yeah i know but it had why? matchmaking but matchmaking didn't matter in that game but it was still fun but then they tried to nerf and buff the characters and that's when they started to break the game yeah well that's not when they started well, i mean the game, the game but... came out broken <laughs> but <laughs> yeah yeah I miss yeah, Anthem. me too. It's it's still live. It's probably like one person on. I think it's like two or three. I see playing all the time. Jesus, that poor Damn. game. It was so fun. It, I, like the I don't get hyped over trailers for movies or games, but when I saw that trailer, I was like, "Oh yeah, I'm buying this." Yeah, <laughs> I felt so scammed after Anthem was bad because like that was one of the first games where I was like, "Yo, these developers care." They got I've never yeah. seen a roadmap before. <laughs> it was so extensive. Yeah. Man. And then I think all the all the extra content was gonna be like free to play or like maybe major expansions would be mm-hmm. paid. Yeah. But uh like yeah, we're gonna support this game for like eight years. It's like, all right, man. I'm I'm on board. They did none of that. Yeah. And then the gameplay was was pretty damn good. Mm-hmm. But like everything else is like I feel bad for the developers that had to waste their time on that. Yeah, they had no, they had, they had enough content for a week. Cause in a week, everybody was like, literally, everybody was done in a week. Yeah, I mean that's kind of the case with with those kind of games. Like the end game. So so there's like a a contrast between like that and New World, uh-huh. for example. Like I played here. I can check right now how many hours I put in New World. New world. All right, I got sixty and a half hours. Uh-huh. So that's almost three days playtime, like total. Yeah. And the level cap is sixty. I was only like level thirty-two. Oh wow. So like, after a week, especially for for a game that's gonna go on consoles, uh-huh. like, well, I guess New World is on console too. I think. Um, but for a game that, you know, it's not an MMO. It might be a game that you just pick up, play the story, and put down. Yeah. Kind of like Outriders. Mm-hmm. How long should it really take you to get to the end? Like, is a week not long enough to beat the game? I feel like that's a waste of money, though. Well, that's why you still have the end game. Like, you still grind. Mm. Like, they had, like, what? Grandmaster 1, 2, and 3. And everyone only played 1 because 2 and 3 were fucking possible. Yeah. <laughs> and the drop rates were the same across oh, all levels anyway so it didn't even matter yeah anymore. yeah it was really stupid and then the problem again it's all coming back to me it's like as soon as legendaries drop the mission is over everybody's gone it's just you by yourself like yeah <laughs> where did everybody go <laughs> it's true Man. yeah i remember um there was like a like a tier above legendary really it was like what wasn't there? Or was there's like Mastercraft or something? Oh, you could do something. Or was too. Mastercraft the higher Masterwork? Yeah, remember. you could find a Masterwork and f- change something. But Legendary was the highest tier of weapon you could get. Oh, okay. So then it, maybe I don't I don't remember what it was. When I, I guess Legendary was like the green color drop. Gold. Gold. Yeah, it was I thought gold. green. There was like a green one that was the that highest. was like common or uncommon. One of those two. I don't. I don't remember. I mean, Either way, look like, it up. The first yeah, time I it. saw whatever like color it was, I was like, "Oh, is this a glitch?" <laughs> <laughs> like, like I, the whole time I I didn't know that whatever the top tier was even existed. I put in so many hours and never seen it. So there's common, yeah, like, uncommon, rare, epic, masterwork, legendary. Yeah, what, there you go. So it was masterwork then. White, green, blue, purple, orange, yellow. Huh? So legendary is a high. Maybe it was orange then. I don't. I don't yeah, know. masterwork is orange. And then legendary is yellow. Okay, I knew it was some weird ass color. Like, yeah, yeah. Whatever I saw, I guess yellow. I was just like, "What is that? Is that like a quest item?" <laughs> <laughs> but it was so hard to get legendaries, and like when people got them, yeah. they just left the match, and like there was still like two thirds of the of the match to go. So like, do you grind the rest by yourself, or do you just quit? Too? Yeah, yeah. There was that one, that one like 
raid or dungeon with a spider queen thing at the end mm -hmm. people would only do the first chest because it took like five minutes yeah and i was like yeah I'll, I'll try the first chest and then if there's nothing in it then i'm just gonna leave because the middle part was hard we had like the, yeah. two, the two walls and then yeah 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 yeah, I have no idea what you guys are talking about. <laughs> Don't worry, I, I'll I'll break it down right now with this. But statement. I feel like I'm there because you guys are very like into yeah. this. I'm so just, like, the statement I can make now is what we faced in Torchlight that made me stop playing is like when people make a game hard, they think that hard just means put all enemies oh, here, God. they never miss, and then just have fun. But it's like, yeah, no. Yeah, it's, it's that's the way it is. Like. Hard in shooters just equals give them an aimbot. Uh -huh. Like for example, I I uh, went to the training mode on Halo. Yeah, and you can put a bot and like set the difficulty, and you can even like set it so you can see uh, like a dot over the enemies. Uh -huh. So I just put it on the hardest difficulty, and then I killed the bot once, and when it hit around like in some random corner, yeah. the bot walked straight to me like from their spawn. So it was like I guess. Hard mode equals the enemies can track you through walls and have perfect aim. And... Uh, yeah. Hmm. So it's like the enemy spawns all the way across the map. Doesn't have to look. Doesn't waste any time. Goes in the shortest path directly to me. Yeah, because Halo and Legendary, like the first Halo, playing Legendary was so hard. Because they don't miss and the snipers don't miss. So it's like you have to hide yeah. and play perfectly. Yeah, that's, that's like in, in fighting games, like... They block perfectly because they know your inputs. Exactly. Like they have they have plenty of time, you know, like if four milliseconds is your attack wind up, that's plenty of time for the computer to read and act. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. like any any time you get a hit versus like a hard enemy, yeah. it's either like some scripting issue or like the AI just messed up essentially on purpose. So you're saying that hard modes are basically almost impossible to beat? Should be impossible to beat? I mean that that's kind of how it is. Like, uh -huh. uh, I don't know if if you have like a fighting game, like you're playing Tekken or Street Fighter or whatever. Uh -huh. It's easy if the enemy hardly reacts and you can hit them often. It's uh -huh. hard if they can block your attacks. And it's like, okay, well, how can we make it so they block your attacks? Well, they read your inputs and act accordingly. Uh -huh. It's not like a human where, yeah, it's hard for you to beat me because I've practiced for so long and. Like, if you get a hit on me, then it's like, I personally messed up, not the limitations of my code allowed me to mess up because it was mm -hmm. time for that to happen. Yeah. So now, this just so, makes my brain start moving. Okay, you go first, Mino, then I'll come back with it. No, I, I have a meme question to ask now. Oh, okay. So my question was going to be, um, why is it <laughs> that um, there's no difficulty for, like, bot matches in games like Pokemon United, things like that? Because you can know when you're in a bot match because it's easy. Yeah. So I would appreciate it more if the bot matches were like harder or at least close, so that it doesn't feel like I'm wasting my time playing a bot match. Wait, time out. Mm. So in Pokemon Unite, when you play a bot match, your bots are like <laughs> the R word. Uh huh. As it rhymes with rebarbs. We, we know. We know. <laughs> <laughs> and the enemy bots are like. Top tier, like we know what we're doing. We're we're friggin' death balling top lane. It's true. It's like, this is why earlier when when I said <laughs> always ban Morgana, and mm -hmm. you said like, what if they're on your team? Or that's why that's why I said are are they on my team and they want Morgana mm -hmm. or on the enemy team? Because mm -hmm. your teammates are always gonna be like garbage. Like there's like the <laughs> the um there's like a, a YouTube channel where they make like these Overwatch parodies or whatever. Mm -hmm. And it's like you can type in like uh like enemy tracer and the video is just a tracer like popping off like going crazy oh, and then like yeah. the tracer on your team and it's like <laughs> they don't know how to reload their weapons or something like oh, that gosh. and it's funny because it's true <laughs> like you get yeah. the person playing the best character in the game and they don't know how to play them and then yeah. on the enemy team you got me playing damage grok and i'm popping off it's crazy <laughs> 